Hello everybody, you're listening to Alfred's American News Updates. Alfred's American News Updates is brought to you by Alfred and Friends. Alfred and Friends is a global conglomerate that owns and invests in a large variety of companies all around the world. To find out how you can invest in Alfred and Friends, go to alfredandfriends.com. The updates I'd like to give you right now is on the Justice Smollett case which has just been dropped clearly because he is black and he is gay you know this is funny and this is actually a huge mistake this is a huge step backwards for black america as a whole because you see what this has said is that every claim of black america regarding injustice and them being oppressed and all of that all those claims are garbage that is what this is because now you have a case where a black man commits a crime of the worst proportion what you could say is the worst racial crime of the decade you see the worst racial host of the decade I know nobody died in this host that Jesse Joseph Smollett pulled, but you see, he deliberately went on a personal race dividing campaign that could have caused a lot of trouble. You see, when somebody is caught doing what Justice Smollett did, paying black people to beat him up and then claiming that he was beat up and attacked by white people. You see, imagine if it was the other way around. Imagine if a white man paid other white men to beat him up and then said that it was a bunch of black men that beat him up and went around the media saying black people this, black people that. What would happen if people find out that actually it was him that paid people of his own race to beat him up. What would happen? You see, we will never hear the end of it. And it would actually cause riots and a lot of problem. But you see, this shows so much about the reality of the matter when it comes to blacks in America. Blacks in America are living on a bed of roses. They are given so many opportunities and opportunities and upon opportunities. Only a black person can get away with this kind of thing. And you know, when you mix being black with being gay or being trans, you get this kind of advantages. Justice Smollett should not have been set free. Even if they gave him um a year in jail or six months in jail or something of that nature that would have been okay can you believe that at the same time that this kind of thing is happening there's someone in the uk who is at risk of being put in jail for up to six months or more from six months to a year because she so-called misgendered somebody in a tweet that was made like five or four years ago you see she called somebody who went through a transsexual surgery a man when the person wants to be identified as a woman and because of that because a woman called somebody who was born a man but did surgery to become a woman just because the woman referred to that person as he that woman now stands the chance of going to jail. You see the overprotection and the privileges that people who are trans have and people who are gay have. Anybody that identifies with the left and with the certain LGBT ideologies. You see, this is a great injustice. And now you see this happening in America at the same time period. Just employment has been given a free pass. If he was white, this would not happen. You see, only somebody who's, who is black or gay in America or mix any of the two can have this kind of special privileges. All the evidence pointed towards the fact that 
this guy lied. He committed this heinous crime. Yet he has been given leave to go free. And this is somebody that is friends with Michelle Obama. So no surprise there. You can see the left. And later they will keep pushing this narrative that black people are victims. Black people are victims. What are you talking about? Yet black people can get away with this kind of thing. Only a black man. A woman can get away with this kind of thing and when you mix being black with being gay this is what happens this has actually now created a situation where a lot of white people will begin to feel a certain way about black people you see this has actually helped to divide america and the racial matter even more because every single person even the black lives matter racists even them they know that if a white man had done what justice smollett did he would be in jail there would be riots there will be an uproar but justice smollett is allowed to go free that means that you can assault black pe white people you can do anything you want with white people and go free you see especially when you identify as gay and black this is very sad this is very sad now a lot of white people who had previously not felt a certain way about blacks will now do so and when you think about a lot of all the things that black lives matter and colin kaepernick and people of the left all these crazy people who are pushing for this victimization mentality and yet they are working in such privileges they have certain privileges extended to them by the law and by charity organizations and by everything else in America that is not extended to white people. They have so many privileges that are extended to them by the media that is not extended to white people. You know, there was an era when um, people were playing what they call the knockout game where black people will see random white people and just punch them. The goal is to knock them out with one punch. And you can see what kind of hatred can fuel that. Was there an outrage? No. Was there any cry out? No. But you see, it is this kind of thing that is being pushed. You see, and guess what? A lot of innocent black people like me who are people who have nothing against white people are the people who are going to be on the receiving end of all this because this is clearly going to differ creates a deeper line of division between whites and blacks this was a very wrong move you see if anybody had any sense they would know that considering the fact that no white man would be able to dream of doing this and getting away with this just smollett would not have been should not have been allowed to go free if anything he should have been given even one month in jail you know or, and that is very minimal compared to the crime that he committed. You see, however, he has been cleared. In spite of all the charges, 16 charges, he has been cleared. Why? Because he says he's black and he's gay. At this point, it's like somebody who says they are black and they are gay can walk into any place and shoot everybody and kill as many people as they want. And all they have to say is that they are black and they are gay and they will be set free. Or their sentence will be reduced you know this is sad this is sad in any case i don't like to talk about problems without bringing forward solutions so i would say the solution for this is that there needs to be a push against racism in the black community because a lot of black people are being propped up to be racist and by pushing forward a lot of their racist narratives they are making a lot of white people who were perhaps even indifferent they are now making them racists they are now making them begin to think racist thoughts even though they were not originally racist you see the movements and the things that black people are doing and saying you see is creating racism on the side of whites who were not previously racist and you have to understand that whether you like it or not, whites are more powerful than blacks. And the reason why 
blacks in America have anything is because of the whites that support them or are behind them. If that is pulled, there is going to be trouble. Just the same way with Africa. Let's say white people want to stop helping Africa. What do you think will happen to Africa? Billions of Africans will die. That is a fact. When you look at even the most developed nations like Nigeria in Africa, it has been supported and is still being supported by a lot of whites investments, a lot of investments from whites and a lot of grants from the World Bank and from white people. What of if that stops? What happens to Nigeria? And Nigeria is the strongest nation economically in Africa. South Africa has fallen thanks to Julius Malema and the push for Marxism plus the great persecution of whites in South Africa. So South Africa is now way behind and Nigeria has gone far ahead of South Africa. So when you look at that and you look all around Africa, people talk about the buildings and the good structures in Africa and they say that the mainstream media does not show them. Yes, it's true that the mainstream media in America does not show the beautiful buildings in Africa and the beautiful estates and all of that. But who is building those beautiful estates? What companies are behind those beautiful estates and those beautiful buildings in Africa? They are foreign companies. They are not African companies. You see? So what I'm saying is that what happens to Africa if white people now are forced back to a situation where they now have to hate blacks? Africa would fall. And so we blacks in America, you see, where is all the black celebrities without the white man who owns and controls and runs Hollywoods and all the major studios and created the entire structure of Hollywood and the awards that are given and all of that, you see. And you have to understand that this idea that some black celebrities have that white people need black people in entertainment and in things that black people are seen to excel in like basketball. All of that is a lie because first of all, basketball was invited, invented by a white man. And before black people were allowed to play basketball, basketball was already doing well. It was already prospering and it already had a great future. And when it comes to movies, before black people started shining in movies and in music, Music already existed and white people were already making millions and making a lot of money from music. So you see, you have to not overestimate certain facts. If things go back to the way they are or the way they used to be, sorry, if the white man is forced to go back to feeling a certain way about blacks and actually acting in a certain way towards blacks, you know, if that hatred rises there's going to be a problem. It is funny, all the so-called things that certain organizations like Black Lives Matter and things like what this Jesse Smollett case has done, all that it has done is to make a life racism on the other side. All the things that they are doing is not quenching racism or bringing people together. It is actually ensuring that white people begin to be racist. Look at the words of Malema of South Africa. Look at the actions of all the blacks that are killing whites in South Africa. You see, so this is not good. This is not good. Like I said, I don't give um, or talk about the problems without offering the solution. The solution is that conscious moves have to be made to actually quench racism among blacks and that means the gospel the gospel is the only thing that can actually pierce through the hearts you know and can actually bring love you see so the gospel the true gospel not the racist gospel there's the racial influence on the gospel which is a fake gospel and that is why we see nonsense like the concept of the black jesus there's no such thing as a black jesus and all this um hebrew israel nonsense this um, black hebrew nonsense um 
that you we have going around. You see, all of that is nonsense, and all of that is because of racism. That is racism trying to take its foothold in Christianity, and that cannot be. That should not be. You see, so the gospel is needed to actually preach love and peace. And preachers and pastors should address this matter. Other things should be done to ensure that blacks who are so racist should not be given such a strong voice and should not keep on increasing their love and fanning flames of hatred on the other side and making sure that the flames of hatred spreads into every white person because that is what they are currently doing. So that is the update right now. Thank you and God bless you.